افتت معونا یو منو لکم ناو ایز اے بریف پاز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از ایڈریسنگ اپیرنٹلی دی مسلم بٹ ہیئر اگین ایکچولی دی دی پیپل ہو ار بینگ ڈسکسڈ ار دی جیوز بٹ دس آیا از ایڈریسنگ مسلم افتت معونا یو منو لکم او مسلم ڈو یو ہوپ اور وش that these people should believe in you should believe in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you do you hope you have any expectations you wish it you covet it afatat mauna yuminu lakum wa qad kana fariqun minhum when if, if some people among them have been so much courageous against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qad kana fariqun minhum yasmauna kalam allah that they were hearing the kalam of allah summa yuharifunahu and then they have been changing it corrupting it mim baad ma aqaluhu after having understood it not by mistake but by willful wrong doing they have been changing the word of allah the kalam of allah so people who dare changing the kalam of allah subhanahu wa taala how do you hope that they will come to the right path and they will believe in you and in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam afatat mauna yu minu lakum wa qad kana fariqun minhum yasmauna kalam allah thumma yuharifunahu min ba'd ma aqaluhu wa hum ya'lamun and they were doing all these things knowing with intention wa idha laqul ladina amanu qalu amanna and when they meet the people of faith the moments they say we are also moving i have discussed it in the section number 2 of this very surah وَإِذَا لَقُلْ لَذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا And here you see, they are definitely the Jews about which these words are, appear, are appearing here. There I told you that both the Jews as well as the Munafiqun, they were there in the background of the, sec, of the second section of the surah. Here they are definitely the Jews. وَإِذَا لَقُلْ لَذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَا بَعْضُمْ إِلَا بَعْضٍ and when they are privately meeting with each other to jews qalu wa tuhaddisunahum they say to each other are you telling them that is the muslims they ma fatah allah alaykum what allah subhanahu wa taala has disclosed on you those things which have appeared in torah in support of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam do you want to tell the muslims those things لَا يُحَاجُّكُمْ بِهِ إِنَّ رَبَّكُمْ فَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ so that they can argue against you on the day of judgment uh, before your lord before your rab so do you not understand don't you have any any understanding what are you doing now please understand there were some moments that a jew in some good moment he used to say to the muslim yes about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam such and such you know there are these prophecies and these things we have we, we find them in torah but now they blamed each other when they met each other what are you doing you are telling them these things which allah subhanahu wa taala has told you has opened upon you so that they will now argue against you on the day of judgment oh allah they accepted and they had recognized muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they said to me that in torah we find all the qualities and all the prophecies regarding muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they were blaming each other why do you tell them that in torah there are the prophecies which support the prophethood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam aw la ya'lamuna anna allaha ya'lamu ma yusirruna wa ma yu'linun do they don't know that allah knows whatever they are hiding or whatever they are revealing even if they don't tell the muslims allah knows it that all the prophecies in torah were present about the prophethood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the signs were present so allah will argue against you himself aw la ya'lamuna anna allah ya'lamu ma yusirruna wa ma yu'linun even if the muslims don't know even if they don't disclose all these things to the muslims after all allah knows them wa minhum ummiyuna la ya'lamuna al-kitaba illa amaniya wa inhum illa yuzunnun from among them there are ummis also now what are these ummis the illiterate people among the jews because all jews were not ulama 
all Jews didn't read Torah, just as we don't read Quran. We go and ask the Masala for a Balmi Sahab, that's all. And we read Quran only to get Sahab. And that is also a very small percentage of the Muslims who read Quran now. Gone are the days when the majority of the Muslims used to recite Quran every morning. Gone. Long ago. Finished. Very few percentage of the Muslims recite Quran regularly. And among them also, how many people understand it? So actually the same was the case of the Jews. We have at least the whole Quran with us in best bound form and on best paper and printed everything. Do you know about 2000 years before, there was no such facilities available. So actually very few people among the Jews knew Torah and what was there in Torah. So that is what is Quran saying here. Minhum ummiyun, la ya'lamun al-kitab. Among them are those unlettered people, uneducated people, illiterate people who don't know the book. They say they believe in Torah, but they don't know what is Torah. Illa amaniya. What they know are their wishful thinking. We are the chosen people of the Lord. We are the progeny of Yaqub and Ibrahim and Ishaq. We will be, we will be definitely saved from the fire of hell. Because we are very dear to Allah, like sons. We are very dear. And even if fire touches us, it will touch us only for a few days, number of days. We shall not remain in the hell forever. All these are amani. These are their wishful thinking. They have themselves, you know, created these things out of nothing. This is a fiction. This is not something from Torah. And if you try to just assess the position of the Muslims also, the same is the condition of the Muslims. We also have the same amani. We are the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. جو کچھ بھی ہے لیکن تیرے محبوب کی امت میں ہے because we are, we belong to the امت of your محبوب صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم so our you know our destiny is fixed our positions in Jannah are reserved our seats are reserved over there our salvation is unchored so that is actually the wishful thing وَمِنْهُمْ اُمِّيُّونَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مَانِي يَبَائِنْهُمْ إِلَّا يَغُلُّونَ فَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِعَيْدِهِمْ Now the other people, they were the Jews, Ulama, the rabbis of the Jews, what did they do? They wrote the book with their own heads, changed the wordings of the book, then they sold their fatwas, just as you know some of the Balmis today sell the fatwas. They get prices by selling fatwas, just as a person, you know, wishes. To get a fatwa, he can get a fatwa, he can, he can purchase a fatwa. There are those ulamai who, not all of them, but there are some people. So that, that was the, the, the character of the, the ulama. فَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بَيَدِيهِمْ Woe to the people who write the book with their own hands. سُمَّ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا مِنْ إِنْدِ اللَّهِ And then they say, this is from Allah. لَيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ سَمَنًا قَلِيلًا So that they can get very little price, very little price, you know, for that, because the biggest price that they can get is actually a little price, if you compare it to the, to the salvation in the hereafter. What will you get? Thousands or lakhs of rupees or dollars, nothing else. But you know, what are you losing? The salvation of the hereafter, the eternal life of Jannah, that is you are lo losing. And you are getting this price. لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ سَمَنًا قَلِيلًا فَوَيْلُ لَهُمْ بِمَّا كَتَبَ تَعْدِيهِمْ Woe to them due to what their hands wrote. وَوَيْلُ لَهُمْ بِمَّا يَقْسِبُونَ And woe to them for the earnings that they have made through this business and trading of religion. وَقَالُوا لَنْ تَمَسَّنَ النَّارُ إِلَّا عَيَامُ مَعْدُودَاتِ إِلَّا عَيَامُ مَعْدُودَاتِ Again the same example of their wishful thinking. And they said, Nar, fire of hell cannot touch us. Except for a few days, few numbered days. Some said seven days, some said nine days, some of them said forty days, not more than that. وَقَالُوا لَنْ تَمَسَّنَ النَّارُ إِلَّا يَامُ مَعْدُودَ The fire of hell cannot touch us, except for a few numbered days. قُلْ أَتَّقَسْتُمْ إِنْ دَ اللَّهِ أَحْدًا 
ask them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, have you got some covenant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? فَلَنْ يُخْلِفَ اللَّهُ عَهْدَهُ And you hope and you are sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not do against his covenant? Where is that covenant? أَمْ تَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Or in the alternative, are you saying about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what you don't know without any knowledge, without any basis? Basis? You are saying these things and ascribe these things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bala, now this is the final word of this section. And these are the eternal laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bala, why not? Man kasaba sayyatan. Whosoever willfully earns even one ill doing, one bad deed. Sayyatan. Sayyatan, one deed, one bad deed, one bad act, one sin. But it should be a big sin. Kabira. Wahatat mehi khatiyatuhu. And then the, the sin, you know, it surrounds his whole personality. Even one sin can surround the whole personality of that evil doer. Faulaika shabun nar hum fiha khalibur. They are the people of fire and they will remain in that forever, forever. Khulud fin nar. وَالَّذِينَ عَمَلُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ On the contrary, this is the usual case in Quran, whenever there is a mention of hell and the people of hell, simultaneously, as a simultaneous contrast, people of heaven, people of Jannah, they are also mentioned as a contrast. وَالَّذِينَ عَمَلُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ As for those who believed in Allah, who believed, who had the faith, real faith, real iman, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ and the proof of real faith is amal salih That the deeds should be good. Character should be good. His behavior should be good. Good should come out from his person. It should spread from his person into his society. Ulaika sahabul jannah. They are the people of jannah. They are the people of heaven. They are the people of paradise. Hum fiha khalidun. And they will dwell in that forever and forever. So that is the divine law. Everything is based on real Iman and real amal Saleh. Not on the basis of belonging to any, any community. You might belong to the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But if you don't have real Iman, and if your deeds are not good, you are not performing your duties, well, your just disconnection, your belonging to the Muslim Ummah, it carries no weight on the Day of Judgment in the balance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم